So this week, some massive event called Comic-Con descended upon New York City. It's a thing for comic book fans, but it's also a thing for TV shows to send correspondents to to make fun of said comic book fans. I sent Joanne and Catherine to learn more. They learned less. Thanks, Greg. We're here at Comic-Con to pitch two modern superheroes to Marvel. We need to do a little bit of uh, workshopping before we do. You excited? Oh, so excited. Let's do it. You go that way. I'm this way. Right. Awesome. I don't know if you can tell by my costume, but I am Captain Happy Hour. Okay. What would... Smell it on you. <laughs> Thank you. So sweet. I'm Cat Lady. Do you like this? Would you break up with Catwoman for me? Sure. Sure. We just got married because one of my superpowers is I'm so needy that you can't get rid of me. I can turn any box into a box of wine. That sounds amazing. Aren't there big plastic things in there too that you can actually drink? Do you have one on you? Where's the plastic? No, no, no. That, that's the easy way out. I, I prefer the hard way. I just need a box and a, and a bottle of wine. My kryptonite type thing is Ambien shopping. <laughs> so how are you with Ambien shopping? Uh, I mean, we're one and the same girl. I have blurred vision, liquid courage, and an iron stomach. I can also turn a six into a ten very easily. Would you date me? That is an interesting. You can lie to my face. Oh. Yes. Great. Who do you think's more powerful, cat lady or cat woman? Cat lady, because leggings. Leggings yeah. are always better. Also, I could defeat any male villain because the way that I repel men. How's that? With my personality. Can you give me some tips on being evil? Oh yes, yes. Um. Just make it up as you go, you know, have a little fun with it. Maybe a little squirt of acid, you know? <laughs> uh, this is Comic-Con, so why did you not dress up? Um, I felt like I wasn't, you know, good enough to dress up. I'm a cat lady, so I have a very low self-esteem. Do you want to be my boyfriend? Uh, are you kidding me? Okay, I'm here. There's a confrontation between Batman and Superman. How does that feel, that confrontation with Batman? Well, you know, I've always felt that Batman was overrated. Wow. I'm afraid so. Oh my gosh, I he wanted, speaks the oh truth. My, oh my god, he's got the powers of a normal person. I mean, come on. What are your, what are some of your powers? Uh, super strength, I can fly. Yeah. Um, yeah. and that's just being a badass, I guess. Yeah. See, I can cry all day, every day, and never run out of tears. I'm costume designer from New York. This is a simple costume. Oh, you're a costume <laughs> designer? Yes. Well, that definitely helps. Um, I just drink. That's really my only hobby. That's also my, my superpower. I can drink about anything. Oh, thank you. So I'm here with a live raptor and a live raptor handler, Chris Pratt. How you doing? Hey, actually, my name is Brian. Chris Pratt, great to meet you. Oh. I got an idea. What about Jurassic Cat? Little cats be kind of cool, little little cats? Tackle that. Oh, and then okay. what we'll do is we'll put high heels on them, too. Oh, yeah, that's very sexy. So what did we learn? We learned that maybe the comic world just isn't ready for two strong, modern, relatable female superheroes. You're lost, Marvel. Do you imagine running into those two at a bar? <laughs> what, what does that mean? I don't know. I'm just You'd thinking have the that, most it, fun that would be, a <laughs> that would be It would be very sad and scary at the same time. Or no, it could be great. Who knows? <laughs> All right, they're playing music, which means we don't have time for anything else, which is good because I think, well, I'm. That spoke for itself. It did. Yeah. Okay.